Hello, and welcome to the Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Memoranda. They just had an update not too long ago about it's, I guess, easier to help the player along with these figuring out what to do, I guess. And they said a little bit of improvements to, uh, let's say, to better experience the game. They said they had new dialogue and memos to help the player along, so we'll see how that is because I have no idea. I don't even know what like, the original dialogue was. So I guess that's something we'll have to go see. Um, hold on first. Um, even if I knew the lady behind this door, I wouldn't approach her when she is so angry. Yep, hold on here. There we go. Um, this on the door. Weird. Oh, <laughs> Kardash knows his stuff. The device is now full of the frequencies coming from that room. I think the device recorded the number she's calling. How does it do that? I don't know. But we did go find that, uh, well, we did uncover that new place, so we might have to go down there. I have to figure out which way to go, though. Um. There we go. The cottage. Here we are. So, this is the new place about the elephant, and there's a nice little elephant back. Elephant balloon. I don't know what the heck I was about to say. Potato. Let's go ahead and grab that. I hate flittering. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad thing. And chair. Ball. Ball. There's always a ball of frisbee or something on the roof. Left alone for years. Yeah. I wish I could see the other side. The window is too dusty, though. Hmm. So do I have to clean that? Is that a hint? I don't have much. I have a potato. Uh, can't go that way. Mailbox? He avoids people so much that I might have to mail him something. A potato? That would be something, wouldn't Doesn't it? Doesn't seem very logical. No, it wouldn't. I would... Not that. Why is this chair so large? It looks like it was made for an elephant. <laughs> Alright. Doorbell. Hello, I'm one of your neighbors. Listen, Mom, I'm not interested in getting to know strangers, relatives, or anyone, especially neighbors. Just leave me alone. <laughs> That's a bit hurtful, ain't it? All right. Um, gonna go to that alleyway and see if there's anything new here. It's best if Marta doesn't see her cat. Uh, this maybe doesn't seem. No potato. Doesn't. Uh, I don't want to waste my time. Oh, you could try it. I don't. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, let's see. Yeah, nothing else here. There's nothing to that. Uh, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Uh, something back at the bakery. Hey man, I'm gonna talk to you again. I promise, if you listen to Wagner an hour a day, you won't get vertigo. Wagner gives me vertigo. I guess so. <laughs> Who knew? Um, where'd she go? She's not there anymore. So if I got the phone number, do I just call the guy? Oh wait, hold on. Can I use that phone down here? Nope. I'm blows. If you're new, you may try and read this to get the news. Little would you know, this... Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and go all the way back up. Um, does not have to... Uh, get? Hi, Miso. Nice to see you come and not making noise. Don't worry. Erica will return in a few days and we'll take you back home. Sorry, I couldn't spend enough time with you. No, it's pretty sad. I know a laptop doesn't fit well in this game, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Hmm. These days, they call it sticky notes. I. Um. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Flower, captured kidney stone, potato. Some people. 
Fifteen in Doesn't there? No. Wow. Funny idea. Nice. Funny idea. Aww. I don't know if that would work. Hmm. Any news about Mr. Spaghetti? Actually, no. But I haven't forgotten about your donuts. What type of donut did you say you liked? The traditional ones. Not the chocolate ones, though. I thought I already did the thing with her donut, and yet she's asking for another donut? Weird. You do remember you're not supposed to talk about that secret with any- You mean you really think something might slip from my mouth? Okay, then. I totally remember the day Jack put up this poster. I even bought the text myself. <laughs> well, let me see. What can I possibly do now? Um... Funny uh, idea. No? Ah, boy, oh boy. What? Oh, so apparently you're supposed to put flour on the walkway. I've learned the spy trick from children's books. It might work. I should tell the little girl that her homemade donut will take a little longer to make now. Yeah, you just put flour on the walkway. <laughs> it's not very nice when you're supposed to make Superb. it. Superb! The new issue of Tips and Tricks magazine. Oh, forgot to check if the elephant's footprints are left on the flour. I mean, if he left, I mean, I'm sure he would know that, you know, there's flour there, but... The old trick worked! But anyone <laughs> could see the footprints and find out where the elephant is hiding. I should alert them. Um, alert who now? The old trick worked! But anyone could see the footprints and find out where the elephant is hiding. Hey! The elephant is in danger! I'm not joking. I must find another way to communicate with this loner. Oh, kitty. Um, like what exactly? Do I go back to this guy? Oh, what are you doing here? Hi I'd like. Are you gonna slap? Could you? Nope. Nothing though. All right. Um. <laughs> Radosh is a funny, creative man. Look how he managed to send me a message. Suspicious message from space. Mysterious radio signal is detected. Today the devices in the radio station picked up a strange message. The decoder message says, Hey, the DTMF device is ready. Come to an elevation of 5 meters to pick it up. So it's just telling me what I already did. Okay then. That's good to know, I guess. The little girl has moved out sooner than I thought they would. I couldn't keep my promise. Oh, that sucks. Ow. Well, now she's gone. Oh, crap. Alrighty then. Hey, Mr. Donut. I promise if. So, what do I do now? I can't figure out what to do here. Oh, well, I guess you can talk to these people. So, I guess let's go talk to them. Mr. Romero, I've missed you. Ah, Mizuki. I was thinking about you last night on the beach. It's been months since you last sat with me by the fire. That sounded That's odd. True. With the insomnia that I have? I don't know why I didn't think of spending those sleepless hours with you on the beach. Are you also sleepless because of the noise coming from your neighbor's fridge? Oh, <laughs> no. Just too many thoughts and worries. Or maybe I miss my mother and sister, and the fire on the beach makes that even worse. Mizuki, you know well that your family really... No, oh, forget it. You're right, Mr. Romero. I never had a good family like you did. How are they, by the way? Everyone is well. They're all in the city except for Henry, who is spending his school break here with me. He should be somewhere around here. You know, he thinks about his friends all the time after that incident. Oh, wow. Well, now we can go to the lighthouse. Cool. Hello, Niall. 
someone must have finally found a way to kick you out of the lab. It's really hard to get me away from that. I only needed a few more microbes on the canvas to finish my master work. But when Ray says let's go to the beach, then we gotta go to the beach. <laughs> you can't decline the invitation when Mr. Armero starts a beach bonfire. All too true. I bet if there was an international championship for it, Chris would win with a large margin. By the way, when Ray leaves, are you gonna stay here? For a while, yes. I have a confidential project under the works that still needs some time. Is it about infectious diseases? No. It's related to animals and their language. Uh, forget it. As I said, it's confidential. Okay. <laughs> Ray, heard you're going to Stern for an internship. Yes. How fast you all heard. It's a great opportunity and I'm very excited, but I think I'm going to miss it here. You knew you had to go somewhere far from the first day you decided to work on particle physics. Yes, I knew. But it all became real last night when I was lying next to the fire on the beach. I felt it would be so hard to leave this place. How does Niall feel about this and your tea breaks? He's immersed himself in his paintings and microbes. He might even forget what tea tastes like in a week. It's a weird combination, being a painter and a physician. Yeah, I was always worried, though, that his microbes might mix up with my particles. Okay, then. <laughs> Hello, Niall. So it's really you right. No. I guess that's it of that. Mr. Amer- uh, oh, Mr. Amer- Oops. Oh, Oops. Oh, Ms. Here. Every- Alright. Okay, so how do you get to the lighthouse? Let's definitely not that way. Is it this way? Yep. Hey, fisherman. In. It's double end there. Um. Oop. Take that seashell, why not? I wish I were cleaner. <laughs> Jeez. Um. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I don't have water, apparently. Crab? I'd rather pick up a live angry crab than eat crab stew. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not much for seafood either. Ooh, funnel. Can I take that? I've needed a funnel for a long time, but I can't take some DSs. Hmm. Start Did to you come to the beach by yourself today? I've seen you and your mother a couple of times when I pass by there. Yes. I don't know where my mother is. The fire is burning out and she has to take me home. Don't mean to be rude, but I really don't want to talk. I'd rather save my energy. Okay. So I guess that's help him find his mom. We got Henry, Seagull, some rope. To... I need a sharp thing to cut it off. Okay then. An anchor, lifesaver. Let's talk to Henry. Hi Henry. How's it going? I just saw your dad in the square. Yeah, he was on the beach till dawn playing with fire. How are you? What are you up to these days? Do you still write stories like that one? Henry does not have an oven, but he does have a microwave. No, not anymore. I'm spending most of my time on a book for a friend called My Swimming Day. Hmm. Okay. This lighthouse was built in 1889 by the famous sailor Red Eye Ferdinand. It's an interesting name. Oh, well, I can go in. Um, I guess upstairs. Oh boy, what do you want? Why are you following me? Can't you find someone else to stay up with you? <laughs> Don't walk too fast. To tell you the truth, I've built this place myself. I don't think I can let you go anytime soon. I'm full of energy. And I don't know anyone else. Mm. So he's red-eyed for an and. We got condenser. I love copper pots and plates, but this looks incomplete. Um, I guess lens. Sure. I should save it before it breaks, like all other things here. Uh, okay. Um, final record. To dear Fred, <laughs> can you believe this vinyl belongs to my high school close friend for Hod? He is a music enthusiast, and it's strange he left this here amongst this junk. Hmm. Alrighty then. Michael Kramer, a brave sailor and also a great pianist who lived decades ago. They say he always put a jar containing an extra finger on his piano while playing. 
and the fingers started dancing to the tempo of the song. Alrighty then, that's a little weird. I wouldn't have guessed that the lighthouse lens is this big. So what if I use this on the telephone then? I guess so. Hello, I'm one of the neighbors. What do you want? There's something important I have to tell you. Don't hang up. I know where the elephant is. What? Uh, what elephant? You can't hide it from me. I know you're hiding the elephant in your house. There are people looking for him, but I only want to help. Oh, well you got me. Just come over before you blab your mouth all over the town. I'll open the door for you only if you come along. <laughs> cool. So now that worked. Just had to find a stupid phone that would actually let me use it. Can't believe I had to come to a lighthouse just for that. Alright. Wrong way. I don't know why I went that way. There we go. Hello. I'm glad you finally opened the door. Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to alert you. Yes, I suppose I should try harder to be discreet about the elephant's whereabouts. Someone could have seen the footprint. That was you then, eh? It's not very nice to pour flour in front of people's doors. Well, I definitely saw a shadowy figure in the window, but I guess since it's dirty, they might not be able to see in here. Um, what do we got here? Matchbox. Hey, cat. Photo. Woman in the photos, one of the best counselors in the whole world. She has just arrived to the city and is working here for free. It might be a good idea for you to go and see her. Maybe she could fix your nosiness. Oh, huh. free? Everyone will be pouring into her office in a few days, even if they don't have any problems. Huh. Oh, this seems to be Miss Thurber's cat, right? Seems that black cats are quite naughty this year and run away a lot from their homes. Hey, go back to your home once you eat your spaghetti. <laughs> um, what else? Black suits. Very happy to see my Miranda is still in use. <laughs> This. Everyone is looking for you. You're sitting on your ass, blowing in a teapot. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I didn't get a word he said. Do you understand what I'm saying? So so hinda. Swan kino pol sor inus kurubam kino bot arre. I didn't understand a word. Maybe his roommate knows what he's saying. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. That sounds like real interesting gibberish. The elephant is trying to talk, right? You understand what it says? Yes. So far he's been able to change his dimensions, and soon enough he'll be able to speak better than you and I. Right now, he has a request for you. What's his request? And could you please tell him that I came here to ask him to be careful so that he wouldn't end up in the circus again? He says to speed up his becoming human, he needs a potion that only his friend knows how to make. Here, this is the friend's business card. Will you get the potion for him? Okay. Um, so I said a counselor. The elephant needs some kind of potion. Why the heck was that written up sideways? Man in the wheelchair. I think he's some kind of sunscreen. The sunscreen is burning. And the beach isn't he cold? Hmm. It's possible. Um, I don't think I have anything to warm him up though. I have a matchbox. You think that might work? Um, I guess I could try it, I guess. No harm in trying. Um matchbox? Doesn't see Wow. But I need that funnel. I need something to cut that rope. Where the heck is this, um... Yeah, where the heck is this psychiatrist person? I don't see any arrows pointing there. Is it this other door? Nope. Or is it this counselor? Yep. Okay. So, we've got this now. So we got Capina and the Counselor. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What the... You're a good driver. If I had time, I'd get a ride with you. Please don't distract him. If he gets into an accident, it ruins all my efforts. Okay. Hello, my name is Mizuki. A friend suggested I come and speak with you. 
You might remember him. The man who loves spaghetti. Oh, yes. Of course I remember him. He was a very strange case indeed. I can't say too much because of patient confidentiality, but I can tell you that if he hadn't been treated, he could have ended up thinking he was a piece of meat alone inside a pile of spaghetti. Oh, wow. Huh. I had no idea. Well, I won't mention it to him. I'm so sorry about the state of this office. I've just arrived here and haven't set things up yet. Well, I'm glad to be one of your first patients. I'm listening. Recently, every once in a while, I forget my name. And only my own name. And no one else's. And nothing else. Not even addresses or dates. Do you think this might be connected to a more serious disease? I don't think these symptoms suggest you're suffering from a disease. Would you please tell me more about your life? My name is Mizuki. I am 25 years old and I separated from my husband a few years back. I have taken a vacation from work and came out, so I can research on the problem of my I have seen for so long, and I'm for the day. Hmm. Interesting you didn't yawn. I sure felt like it. I had no idea I had such a boring life until I recalled it all aloud. <laughs> to me, no life is ordinary or boring. There's always something fascinating in it. I think that's enough for today. I just have a request. Please. If you recall any event that has to do with names, your name, <laughs> somebody else's name, the name of a pet, the name of a place you visited, a nickname, any name-based memory at all, I'd like you to tell me about it. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. <laughs> See you again. Okay, so I'm going to my name for the counselor. What could be useful? Well, apparently this kidney is shaking. Doesn't seem Why is the kidney shaking in here? <laughs> it's weird. Hmm. I don't know, but I think that'll do it for this episode. Well, we definitely found out a bit more. We actually found the elephant this time. And apparently he wants to become human, which is odd. I don't know why, but... Very interesting, but I guess we'll have to find out more. So thank you guys for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.